Hello guys, today I will show you some very important shortcuts that all Blender beginners must know and if you know these shortcuts it will be much easier to work in Blender so let's start you can just click here on general now as you can see we always have this cube here if you want to delete it you can just grab it with your mouse left click and press delete on your keyboard and that's it now if you want to move around the blender you are doing this by clicking the middle button on your mouse so it's like a scroll bar the name for it is middle mouse button now you can press shift on your keyboard and now again click your middle mouse button so as you can see with shift and middle mouse button you can move on your viewport like this and now if you just click again middle mouse button you can do this so uh, by mixing these two combinations you can do something like this in your software and this is very important very 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 important of course you can also zoom in and zoom out just by you know scrolling the scroll bar on your mouse so actually without mouse if you if you're just using for example notebook laptop and you don't have a mouse it will be much harder to do anything it's actually almost impossible but it's not impossible so as i already uh, showed you with the cube you can just select your object for example this is camera uh, by clicking the left mouse button and now when we clicked on camera you can see data here and you can change something but we will not talk about this at the moment and if you want to deselect all objects just click alt a and now you deselected all objects but so for example if i add cube and now it's selected i click alt a and now it's unselected okay let's delete this cube again and if you want to add a cube this is one of the most important shortcuts in my opinion so if you want to add cube or lights or text uh, almost anything that you can uh, add actually in blender it's by clicking shift a so when you click shift a you can add mesh for example cube you can add curves surfaces text as i said and as you can see a lot of other stuff for example image you can add a reference image it's uh, very important if you are creating car models or uh, apartments or something like that so for now we will just add a cube so now we have this cube again so another shortcut that is very important is g so when you select your object you can just click g and now you can move around the blender uh, you can also see this little infographic it's actually for showing uh, for showing your perspective where you are at the moment for example if you click z you are on the top and if you click g now you can put for example exactly here if you want you can also zoom it and move it with shift and middle mouse button and now click g again and now you can put it for example exactly here if you want you can also change perspective so if you want to put it maybe down there you can just click again g and if you want to put it uh, perfectly down then 
now click Z. So as you can see now it's snapped uh, like we have some kind of magnet and it's actually stable to move it down. So G and Z. You can also go by G and Y or G and X. It's for ad another side. So it's for this side. Because as you can see X is this red line. Uh, I or Epsilon is green line and Z is always this blue line. It's top or down. Okay. Now let's let's grab this cube again. Now we can click R. So with R we can rotate this cube. R rotation. So S is scale. So just press S or R and move your mouse and you will be able to do this. Okay, let's now click Ctrl Z twice. It's actually undo mode. You can also go to edit and you have here undo and redo. Redo is Shift Ctrl Z. Okay. And now if you want to, for example, duplicate this cube, you will go by Shift D. And now as you can see, we duplicated this one. Now we can do it again, and again, and again, and again. Now we will delete this, but this time I will not delete by clicking delete button on my keyboard. I will use X. So that's another shortcut for deleting stuff, but it's not fast as delete shortcut because it will always ask you again if you want to delete it and I will click yes. Now let's go again with shift A and let's add UV sphere. And as you can see, this UV sphere is, you know, it's not perfect as it should be. So we will click control three. And as you can see, now it's better. You can also click control four, but be careful with that because what this do, it's actually adding more polygons to this ball. So if you go, for example, control five or, or control six, it might, uh, you know, your blender might go down because your uh, PC maybe is not too powerful for that. So my advice is to use just control three. It's, it's actually enough for uh, standard projects because as you can see, this ball is pretty cool. Okay, so now another shortcut is to go to edit mode. Uh, everything that we did here, we created in object mode, but if you want to go to edit mode, you can choose this or you can use shortcut and it's tab. So just click tab and as you can see, now you are in edit mode. Okay, so now let's delete it. Go again with Shift A and let's add a cube again. And now let's click tab. So now we are in edit mode. And as you can see, we can choose three options here. So we can pick these points. The real name for this is actually vertex. And we can of course, you know, move them. So we can also choose edges and faces. So now we will uh, just use faces. And now you can 
for example click here and you can press I and when you press I and move your mouse you can make it smaller or bigger like that and now you can again click uh, left mouse button to stop this and now you can click E and E is for extrude and you can extrude it outside or inside so when you do that now you can also click for example S as we mentioned it's a scale so you can do something like this so when you are very very skilled you can do stuff like this very fast just with these few options so you can create buildings I mean simple buildings and you know other geometrical stuff like that okay this is actually very interesting <laughs> So as you can see, you can be very creative here and do for example this, E again, E again and now we have some crazy level for some simple game. <laughs> okay, so if you want to play with these edges a bit more, you can just click Shift B. And now you can make something like this. This is not very cool for this project, but I think that you understand what you can do with this. So just control B and move your mouse a little bit here. Let's delay this. So we have to be again on object mode, shift A, let's add a cube, now go back to edit mode by clicking tab and now press ctrl R and as you can see now we can you know add these edges. So when you do this now you created more polygons and now you can play with this. For example you can build the car. Now just click E, click E here and now you have a very ugly and simple car. Okay, now let's delete everything here. Uh, if you want to see your render, for example you, this cube is something really special for you and you want to render it first of all click here you can also click on numpad uh, zero uh, but you can also just click here and if you click on this icon you will see how it will look uh, on your final render but if you want to see your final render then just click F12 So that's it for now with F12 and let's add with Shift A a light, let's add a point light here, let's click F12 again and now we can see that something changed here, okay? Uh, something also very important is Z so if you click Z uh, you have four options we are at the moment at solid options uh, at solid option we can also go to rendered option so you don't have to always press F12 you can see how it looks like when it's rendered but of course this is not uh, the best option because it will uh, use a lot of power from your PC so even if you have a very good PC this is not the best option to use uh, very often 
uh, you also have wireframes and if you just need wireframes you can also just click shift z so if you want to do something fast you can always just shift z and you have these two views and another option and in my opinion the best one is material preview with material preview you will not see uh, you know the best shadows and lights and everything but uh, you will see your materials and uh, some other important stuff on your project but actually recommendation is to use this solid one and always very important thing in almost all software is the same thing for saving it's control s of course if you if your project is not already saved it will open a new bar like this so you must create your document but if you have already uh, saved your document then you just can press control s whenever you want and it will save your file uh, in my opinion, these shortcuts are the most important ones and you can, you can also uh, write a comment if you have your favorite ones and if you think that I should add uh, some more of it, you can always uh, give me some ideas and comment uh, under this video. And I also created a PDF version of this uh, of these shortcuts, and it's on my blog. Uh, this will be actually the first post. So yeah, you can go there and support me. All links are in my description. And thank you for watching, and I will do my best to create more videos like this as soon as possible. Bye guys!